Welcome back to Face Solo here, and we have another Video Games Monthly video. This is for the month of April. Um, <clears throat> first off, if you guys watched my last month's video, uh, they sent me a duplicate. It's the first time they had ever done that. Um, so they did send me a game to make up for it, and it was, well actually, first off, the game was, um, it was like NBA 2K1, I believe, or something for the Sega Dreamcast. Um, so I already had that game. I actually have two copies of it. Now I have three. The one they sent me was a sealed copy, which I got to keep. So that's pretty dope. Um, but it was still a duplicate. So they went ahead and sent me another game. And that was VR Troopers. So that is last month's ga um, replacement game. I'm very happy with that. Um, if you if you guys have been watching my videos, I'm trying to collect Genesis games that are not on Super Nintendo or Nintendo, um, and this is not on either of those. So, to my knowledge, and so now, what you all have been waiting for: Video Games Monthly April. Let's go. <sighs> Um, for those of you who don't know what Video Games Monthly is, this is a subscription service. They bring games to your door. You can have different tiers, three, four, five, ten game tiers. Um, I have the four game tier. I pay about $48 after shipping, handling, all that. Uh, so about $48. And I get Sega Dreamcast in hopes of finding games that are not on the Super Nintendo. Um, I get, because my Super Nintendo game collection is huge, guys, 580 some games. So, Sega Genesis in hopes that I find games that are not on the Super Nintendo. Uh, Sega Dreamcast, because uh, those games are just like dope. I don't have a big collection. Um, I also do Wii U. I'm going for a complete Wii U collection. I'm at 92 out of 166 physical games. And then GameCube, because GameCube is just dope, you know? So, uh, let's get into it. Voila, let's open this bad boy up. I'll let you guys see everything first. Right off the bat, there's a lot of cards in here. Uh, review to win. So this says, um, give our Facebook page a five star. You could uh, get... A three up box. Ooh, and nice guys. One up. So this means instead of getting four games this month, I will get five games. My math is pretty good there. Uh, <clears throat> another card. Update your library so they don't send you duplicates. And update your library. So that, wow, that's a lot of cards, guys. It's a lot of paper. Let's get into it here. Okay, so the first game feels like a Sega Genesis game, I believe. So I'll let you guys see it first. It is nice, dude. <clears throat> Warp speed. That looks like a shmup, a shoot 'em up. Um, nice. I do not recognize this on Nintendo or Super Nintendo. Uh, Sega Genesis is the system of shmops, shoot 'em ups. <laughs> uh, so yeah, um, awesome start, guys. That's an awesome start to the box. We'll sit this down for you guys to see. How about that? All right. We'll actually take this out so we can focus on this month, April. Next game. Oh, we have another card. Oh my goodness, guys. Premium edition. Um, we'll keep going on here. Seems like we have another Sega Genesis game, guys. So I'll let you guys see it. Does look like it's in the right orientation. <laughs> nice, dude. Cyborg Justice. That is another... Genesis game that I do not believe is on the Super Nintendo. I do not recognize it. Um, yeah, so nice. Sorry about that. 
Um, nice, dude. That's cool. That's a good start, guys. So I'm supposed to have three more games in this box. I'm not gonna lie. This is already like a better uh, like a better box than normal. Honestly, this is like really good. Yes. Okay. All right. Next, we have a jewel case. Oh, guys, uh, it's not feeling good. I feel like this is a generic case. So we will let you guys see it. Hopefully, you guys can see. It's probably a, can you not see it? Oh, let's see, let me open this. That's like another way or something. Like that. It's a Dreamcast game and it's not in its original case. What is it? Sega Bass Fishing. Okay, that's cool. Um, definitely don't have that for the Dreamcast. So, Sega Bass Fishing. Um, I'm not gonna lie, I, I, I don't really like loose disc things. Um, but, I mean, when I have these two games in front of me, I'm okay with this. Whatever, you know? Um, this is a fishing game, obviously. I love to fish. Um, I do not mind a fishing game, so that's cool. That's cool. Oh, no, guys. They did it again. I feel like it seems like another generic case. So, we'll see. Can you guys see it? Is that good? Is it good, babe? Oh, Red orientation? Oh, please. We'll see what it is. Freedom Fighters on the GameCube, dude. Nice. Oh, I remember this cover art, but I do not know what the game's about. But I do remember the cover art in my head. Unfortunately, I may forget what the cover art looks like because I didn't get the cover art. But, um, okay, some two loose disc games. But I'm okay with this, guys. Um, this is a good box. Honestly, if I just got this, I'm okay with that. It's a good box. So, we will. One more game, and it's definitely a Wii U game for sure. Let me see if there's a trinket in here. Usually we get a trinket. I don't think we got one. Bubble wrap. Before we open this game, do we get a trinket? Oh my god. Okay, so we got some Mario money. And this is um, plastic. Um, last, last month they sent Pokemon money, like a Pokemon bill. Now they're sending a Mario coin. Um, maybe I can give this to Spud Solo and he'll get back on the show. Unfortunately, our contract negotiations are not going good for the show. Um, my camera woman's barely <laughs> hanging in there, so... Uh, we're trying to keep everyone on the show. We're trying to get Spud Solo back in this seat where he belongs. Uh, he did refuse. We had some some uh, in-depth talks, and yeah, he refused to come onto the show. So I'll try to give this to him, and maybe he'll be back next episode, guys. All right, last last game. This is obviously a Wii U game, and Brunswick Pro Bowling. I can see it clear as day. Nice. As you guys know, I'm going for a uh, complete Wii U collection. <clears throat> um, this obviously isn't like crazy exciting, but I mean, I don't have it. It's sealed as well. Sealed. Um, so that's awesome. Yeah. Wow. Wow, guys. I don't know what, to, what really to say. I mean, this was a really good box. Um, I don't know what the value is like on this, but I'm assuming this is definitely worth over $39.99, which is the price of the box. And I think it probably is worth probably more even after shipping and handling. So uh, this has been a great box. Um, thank you guys for watching. Uh, I have a upcoming um, mail call, I guess you wanna call, uh, from Lukey Games, which is a website where you can order games. Uh, so if you guys have not subscribed yet, please subscribe um, and we will do an unboxing here in probably like three or four days of Lukey Games. I have some NES goodness in there, so I'm excited to show that off. And uh, <clears throat> until next time, Two-Face Solo, have a good night.